using agricultural tools like scythes and pitchforks, many Polish people were tortured to death. The UPA, Ukrainian Insurgent Army, committed mass murder of Polish civilians in Volhynia and Eastern Galicia. The Second World War was a tragedy of unknown proportions. Within this major tragedy, minor tragedies occurred, some well known, some lesser known. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the lesser known tragedies during the Second World War. I'm talking about the ethnic cleansing of Poles by Ukrainian nationalists. The Ukrainian War of Independence left Ukraine not independent. Two states were proclaimed, the Ukrainian Nationalist Republic, which got dissolved and annexed by the Bolsheviks, and the Western Ukrainian Republic that got into fighting with the Poles. The Poles conquered it and annexed it in their second Polish Republic. I'm talking about the territories of Volhynia and Eastern Galicia. They became part of Poland, but many Ukrainians were living in these areas. Now, during the 20s, Polish settlers and their families moved to these eastern region causing resentment amongst the Ukrainians. In 1929, the Organization for Ukrainian Nationalists, the OUN, was established, committing acts of sabotage and violence toward the Polish authorities. In 1930, the Polish government took punitive actions, searching Ukrainian housing, beating up Ukrainians, closing down Ukrainian schools and churches. Polish and Ukrainian sources differ from the amount of people that actually got killed by this. The Polish sources claim none and Ukrainian sources claim a whole bunch. But needless to say, it caused massive resentment amongst the Ukrainians and even radicalized them. Then, September 1939, the Nazis attacked the Second Polish Republic from the West and the Soviets did so from the East and they annexed Eastern Poland. Now the OUN had to lay low as well because if they did not, they were being arrested and deported by Soviet authorities. This also happened to many Polish people. OUN had a fascist character and was led by Stepan Bandera. Now, when the Nazis attacked the Soviet Union in June 1941, he hopes to establish an independent Ukraine. However, the Nazis, they prevented this. So no independent Ukraine, and Stepan Bandera was eventually arrested by the Nazis. The OUN lived on, and they helped the Nazis with the mass murder of the Jewish population in Volhynia. After that, the Nazis continued their advance in the Soviet Union. Now, the Jews were gone, the Russians were gone, the Nazis were gone and sparsely occupied the area, but the Poles, they were still there. From the beginning of 1943, the armed group of the OUN, the UPA, Ukrainian Insurgent Army, committed mass murder of Polish civilians in Volhynia and Eastern Galicia. And they did this in a very brutal way using agricultural tools like scythes and pitchforks, many Polish people were tortured to death. Men, women and children. Total death toll comes down to a hundred thousand and can be described as a pure genocide. Now eventually the OUN and the UPA found itself fighting against everyone, against Soviet partisans, against the Red Army, against the Nazis, against the Polish underground, against the Polish Communist Army and even the Czechoslovak Army till in the 50s and eventually they were defeated. Stepan Bandera, he survived the Second World War and he ended up in Germany where he was assassinated in Munich in 1959 by a KGB serviceman and this made him a hero among Ukrainian nationalist. Others see him as a Nazi collaborator and a fascist mass murderer. So what do you think? Polish people, Ukrainian people, I'm really curious what you think of it. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll read them all and until next time.